assalamu alaikum guys so last time we discussed how to read the calculated wind load values from the tables of tecla tets so today we are going to apply all these values in our sap model uh, but uh, before that we need to define uh, four load patterns uh, the first two patterns will be from wind y having uh, the first case as positive with positive coefficient and the second case with is wind y with negative coefficient similarly we will uh, define wind x with positive coefficient and wind x with negative coefficient so in your sap model go to define and load patterns now type all these four cases one by one first case is wind y positive negative let us change it to wind and uh, since we have calculated the wind load manually so i am going to apply it as none we will discuss the auto lateral uh, lateral load patterns in, in the next lectures inshallah uh, click on add new load pattern then the second case will be wind y with positive coefficients add again similarly add for x and x with negative coefficients so the four cases are defined wind cases two with y and two with x so click on okay now my load patterns are defined so let us uh, display the areas in our model uh, press control w on your keyboard and just uh, uncheck this option click on apply now we can see the area elements in our model this is shell so now we need to define um, a few claddings in our model so we can define them by assigning it as none area we are just going to uh, use it to assign uh, frame loads to our structure so just click on all these uh, points one by one and then press double click anywhere on the screen it will automatically assign that area first point second point third fourth then double click now all the null areas are assigned so let us uh, assign the wind loads one by one on these areas so if we see this table uh, the case one was having roof and uh, then walls so let us first assign the roof loads to the structure so select your roof then go to assign and click on area loads and then click on uniform to frame shell this is a wind y with positive coefficient so i'm going to select wind y with positive coefficient and here i am going to assign the value of minus 0.44 so in this case it means that the pressure will be upward in our model so this is um, the gravity direction but i am going to assign it with minus 0.44 so that it is acting in the upward direction click on apply now to see if your load is correctly applied go to display click on object load assigns then go to area assign uh, select the wind load case and check this last option uniform load to frame resultants then click on apply now here we can see that uh, the wind is applied on the purlins in the upward direction which is okay uh, now for the walls we uh, i have already told you that 
we are assigning the wind load in y direction so this will be considered as the windward face which is the a face in the wall which is the zone a so i'm going to select zone a and then this load will be let us select the uh, y direction and the load will be in this positive y axis which is 0.23 it is with positive value so 0.23 positive value means that load will act onto the surface so this is the load in the y axis which is zone a then the zone b is actually your leeward side so i'm going to select this face and it is having value of minus 0 0.27 which means away from the surface so again away from the surface in this case means it is also positive y direction so i'm going to select 0 0.27 click on apply now just to uh, clarify let us check these loads now you see that the load is already distributed from this uh, null shell to the frame elements as line load and this is acting in uh, the positive y direction which means on this face on a face it is acting onto the surface whereas if i go to the leeward side of the building it means that the wind load is acting away from the surface which is also indicated with this negative sign which was calculated earlier in our uh, Tecla model. Uh, now to assign the wind load to the side faces, I'm going to select uh, these faces one by one. Let us close this for now. Now on my C and D phase, uh, which are the side walls of the building. So when wind is acting from this direction, uh, from global Y axis, then uh, these side faces will become my zone C and zone D. So I'm going to select C face first. It is having value of minus 0 0.35. Now minus sign means it will be acting away from the surface, which in this case will be in minus X direction. So I'm going to select X direction here in from here and then type in minus 0 0.35. Similarly, I'm going to select this face. Now, the negative sign in this face will mean that uh, it is acting in the positive x direction, which will be 0 0.35. Now, all uh, the wind load y positive cases have been assigned to the SAP model, which is uh, this case one of roof and case two of walls now to check the loads let us go to display show object load assigns area uh, then click on apply let me hide area uh, to explain you the loads now this is just one case okay uh, the wind load is acting from this direction on this face which is the windward side you can see the pressure is onto the surface which was with the positive sign now if you see all the remaining walls except for the windward face you can observe that all the other faces are having negative pressures i hope this is clear to you if you have any uh, questions you can ask in the comments if something is unclear to you okay now moving forward i'm going to display my areas again press f4 on the keyboard to display the undeformed shape now i will quickly uh, apply all the remaining wind cases as well to my model uh, now wind y with negative coefficient okay so the roof case is having positive 0 0.01 value which means I'm going to select select gravity here and 0 0.01 is with the positive value so it means that the pressure is acting downward so which is okay 
okay to assign the uh, wind load in the y direction in the on the windward face select this face click on uh, y direction then the uh, a zone is having 0.39 pressure then leeward face is having 0.11 and the side faces are having minus 0.19 which will be in x direction so first one is minus 0.19 and this face will have positive 0.19 now x direction uh, sorry y direction negative cases are applied to apply the x direction which means when wind is acting from this direction now the first is with the positive coefficient so i'm going to select wind x positive positive let us apply for roof first select the roof and it is showing minus 0 0.43 so minus 0 0.43 then this will become your windward face which is the zone a of the wall this is in global x direction and the value is 0 0.23 similarly the leeward face is the zone b which is 0 0.2 and the side faces this will be in global y direction so this face will have negative 0 0.35 this value and this face will have positive 0 0.35 value okay now to apply the last case which is with wind x positive negative select the roof click on gravity and this is having pressure of 0 0.01 the windward face is having 0 0.39 which is in the x direction the leeward face is having 0 0.03 0 0.03 and the side faces are having minus 0 0.19 so this will be in global y minus 0 0.19 and the last phase will be positive 0 0.19 i hope the concept is clear to you let us check one by one uh, first wind in y direction which is already clear to you then the second one is with wind uh, negative coefficients then in x direction when wind is acting from this direction all the remaining faces will experience negative pressures similarly when wind is acting with negative coefficient these are the values okay now we have assigned all the loads and uh, in the next lecture we are going to generate the load combinations uh, in this tab which will include the wind load as well in addition to these gravity load combinations so we are going to discuss them in the next lecture inshallah till then take care and allah hafiz